Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tara, a farmer from Northern California, and this channel is mainly about farming, but sometimes it's not. Today's video is actually going to be about my amazing chicken coop. I'm so excited to share it with you guys. A couple weeks ago, my friend Jonathan came and built me basically my dream chicken coop. If you guys have Instagram, Jonathan is on Instagram at chickens of paradise. I will put a link to his page in my description. I will be forever grateful for his help. He drove about an hour and a half to my house and he came on a Friday afternoon, worked all day Saturday, all day Sunday, left at like 9 p.m. on Sunday night, and I'm just like blown away by the amount of work he got done in that amount of time. So anyways, we're gonna start this video with about a two minute time lapse of everything that happened over the weekend, and then I'm gonna give you guys a walkthrough tour. So check it out. This weekend, I have a friend coming that is going to update my entire chicken coop area. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And uh, for any of you who are wondering what happened to my big white coop, I still have it. I'm still gonna use it, but it probably won't be utilized till this fall, winter, after grape harvest, after corn harvest. And that is at a different location in a pasture where I'll hopefully be having a higher number of chickens and providing eggs to the community. This chicken coop is right in my backyard. So this is like my home chicken coop. And yeah, I've gone over the deep end. So there is my old chicken coop. It is now my storage shed, which I love because before I was keeping everything over in my garage, which isn't super far, but it's still, it's nice to have everything right there. So I've got all their food, their medicine, all my chicken stuff is now in my old coop, which is awesome. A little bit messy right now, but so I've got these shelves with all their medicine, treats. I started buying bulk food, which I'm super stoked about because I was going through food so fast. So it's like 250 pounds of food. And uh, this side I haven't really figured out yet. I've got my electric poultry, netting, some other things. Definitely excited to be using this as a storage shed. Time for the tour. So I still have a lot of cleaning up to do. We've got some little extra pieces. I've got some extra pens. This was the roost from their old coop. So there's still, there's still work to be done. So I have two chicken coops. They are eight by eight. 
and I forget what this style roof is called, but you know, it's like a lean-to um, versus a normal roof. It just made things a little bit easier. They each have two windows on the side and a big window in the front. These windows will have shutters. We just ran out of time. I have all the material. He showed me how to build them, but it's hot right now, so I'm not too concerned about getting them on at this moment, but I'll show you the front window does have the shutters. There is a really nice roost in there. We got rolling nesting boxes, which I requested and I'm obsessed with them because basically I was having some chickens peck their eggs and now the eggs, when they lay the egg, it rolls away from them and I can collect them and I have not had any broken eggs since. So here you can see it's a lot smaller than normal and I don't know if you can see, but they'll lay the egg here and it'll actually roll and I've got this like little rubber padding and that's how I collect eggs each chicken coop has 20 nesting boxes which honestly is way more than I needed but it's not a big deal so here is my omelet auto door I installed an auto door on both of them if any of you guys need an automatic chicken coop door, Omelet is the one. They're so user friendly, runs off a couple AA batteries. I swear by them. I had nightmares with uh, some other auto doors. These ones are the best. So I have to adjust these doors a little bit. Um, I want to put a latch here versus up and down, and I'm going to need a little step. Ah. No, no, we're staying in. So here is the inside that's the big window it's half closed right now got a nice big roost and we've got the nesting boxes and so see here's the same rubbery stuff here's my fake egg I could show you so they'll lay the egg and when they lay it it kind of rolls back normally Okay, so we are in the run and I will show you guys the big front window. So here is the big front window and remember we were so jammed on time so I do have a few little things I need to do. So here is how the side windows will close as well. They'll have shutters that look just like that so I need to put a hook here and then I also am going to have a hook out here to hold them open and I'm going to paint this white so the weather I'll get some outdoor paint, um, that way the weather won't affect it. But look how beautiful that is. Now they can stay nice and cool. There's my omelet auto door with the little ramp. And then we've got a twin coop right here. Same exact thing. So we've got the nice big window, roost, te uh, 20 boxes, got my auto door. I am honestly just so obsessed with them. I, Jonathan brought these coops all in pieces as you guys saw in the time lapse. And then he also brought the run in pieces. So he kind of like prefabricated as much as he could. And this run is like so gorgeous. I love the green color. It blends in with the orchard really nice. Everything is done. I think it's like quarter inch hardware cloth and we've got these nice three big posts holding it up i'm able to f i mean i could fit so much in here but i've got three feeders i've got two things for fermented food two waterers and then i started adding shade because we have had really hot days so i did take my old shade and i put it up i got some other shade cloth from lowe's but it's not providing as much shade as I was hoping, um, but it is better than nothing. So this way it stays really cool in here and it's just a nice big area. It's, I think we've got a 30 by 15 run and all the ladies seem really happy. Oh, I love it. We also got a new rooster. Um, he's right here. He came with his name, his name is Robin. And he looks so much like Bo, if you guys remember Bo, um, except he has like little puffy cheeks and his comb is a little cray cray, huh Robin? But you are a pretty boy. 
<laughs> so we've got a door right here to go in and out. And then we also have another door right here. So it's really easy. I've got my rescues there. I've got my Bantam and her babies. And then I got my other Bantams there. Normally I put the, um, the pink omelet or pink purple omelet right here, but it's been hot. So over there, they're better in the shade. I got lots of new baby chicks in here. My first Brahmas. Hey, be nice. They've only been in here a couple days, so everyone's getting used to each other. So yeah, that's a little coop tour. I'm honestly blown away. He just, Jonathan did the most amazing job. They're beautiful. They're where they are well constructed. They're going to last me a lifetime. Um, if, so I had, we have a 10 by 20 cement pad. It was here already. And the reason we did two eight by eights versus just one really large chicken coop is we rent our house. We don't um, own it. And even though I see us being here very long term, there's a chance one day that we'll move. And because there's a pear orchard here, I want to be able to take the chicken coops out if we ever have to, and we can move an eight by eight building. If it was like an eight by 20 or a 10 by 20, it would be nearly, I'm not going to say impossible, but it would be nearly impossible to get it out here. Um, we would have to take it apart. So this gives us the ability to move it in the future if we ever needed to, but we're not going to be moving anytime soon. There's kind of the basic walkthrough. Let's go back outside. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I'm extremely obsessed with it. I'm so happy. There are a few little things here and there I have to do. But man, Jonathan worked like 40 hours in two and a half days. <sighs> and you might not be able to see, but they have gorgeous metal roofs. He just did the, oh, it's a dream guys. This is a dream. I see people with these chicken coops and it's just like, oh, they're gorgeous. Now I have one of those. I have a dream chicken coop. So there you have it, a chicken coop tour. My dream chicken coop, I've got it. My mind is like blown. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Also, if you didn't know, I've got a couple new shirts, two of them which say Backyard Chicken Rancher. The other one is olive green and has a little bit different design. If you guys wanna check out my shop, you can head over to beavervineyards.com. I hope you guys enjoyed this tour and remember to hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button and feel free to share my videos with whoever you think would enjoy them as well. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll catch you later.